The current Robonaut was developed as a result of a partnership between the NASA Johnson Space Center and General Motors. So General Motors sent down a team of engineers uh, to work side by side with the NASA engineers developing and assembling, designing and building the uh, current model of Robonaut R2. Starting with R1, we went after both the hands and arms. They give you a workspace and the dexterity that's very similar to a human. When we went to R2, we increased that. We increased the, the speed at which we could um, perform tasks and we increased the level of dexterity so that we can even perform more tasks than the original R1 can. From General Motors' perspective, we want to be able to automate tasks that are very repetitious, dull, or ergonomically challenging for our operators. And those requirements are very similar to some of the tasks that NASA would like to be able to automate to help uh, an astronaut. So from that perspective, we're looking at using robots and automation to support our operators, to support our people doing the work doing the things that are not as value added for the, for the operators. The goal here is that there are many tasks that can be more efficiently offloaded to robots. For example, in space. Um, when astronauts perform tasks, there's a lot of setup before the task is actually started and a lot of teardown after the task is done, particularly on space stations, setting up the tools, setting up a variety of equipment. If a robot can perform that task, it allows the crew person to be much more efficient doing the things that only a crew person can do. Partnership between NASA and GM has resulted in benefits that we hadn't predicted when we first started together. Um, both sides are looking for as dexterous and as efficient a robotic system as possible. But what's also been amazing is the application overlap between the two groups. Many things that we have to do in space that humans have to do are in many ways similar to the, the complexity, the, the, the situation when you're building a car. Both are complex activities and we have found interesting overlap that's been to the benefit of both of us. For General Motors it's all about safer vehicles and safer plants. The technologies being developed in R2 will help our engineers develop advanced vehicle safety systems that will be used in our future products.